everybody I'm Haley and I am Lovely's Hair. This is a channel that I am starting to help you guys to show you guys how to love, care for it, and learn to deal with your hair. Um, I am a licensed beautician, I am a business owner, and I am a manager of a luxury hair brand. So with that in mind, I am in love with hair, all things hair. So, welcome to my channel. I hope you ladies and gents enjoy what I have for you guys. It's all a labor of love, so I hope that you feel it through everything that I go through and everything that I share. So, welcome to my channel. Let's get started. What I'm going to do today, y'all, is help y'all with protective styling techniques that have helped me go a lot further in my hair growth journey and also just push me to the next level as far as just caring for my hair. So, what I have right now is goddess locks. I don't know if you can see but I'll spin so you can it's braided up so these goddess locks they have been in I'm sorry I'm adjusting the camera <laughs> they have been in for like over a month um, I'm taking it out so y'all can see a little bit more detailed of what I have going on um, I am a stylist so I did do these on my own I very rarely like if ever get my hair done by other people but just to show you um, these goddess locks, they were crocheted, okay? So, with that, that means that I didn't go through the long, drawn-out process of doing individual box braids with weave extensions and then wrapping around um, Marley hair. No, I'm not doing that. I did it before. It took me 15 hours. I'm done with it. I wanted them real small, so I just invested and almost killed myself. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, but some important things to remember with goddess locks as well as any other style like box braids and things like that is that you do want to oil your scalp. Just because you have an extensions does not mean that you don't care about your hair. Like you still have to care about your hair. Um, if your hair is dry and brittle when you take those braids out it's just going to snap, it's going to break and it's going to look like dust and it's going to look crazy. Some things I want to share with you guys is what kind of oils to use on your hair because not every oil is great for your hair when you have it in a protective style. Coconut oil is not good for your hair in a protective style. Now I know, I know black women, I know women, we love coconut oil. It's just, it's like God's gift to us in our beautiful golden skin and hair. No, it is good, yes, don't get me wrong. You can do a nice like hot oil treatment, a deep conditioning treatment with your hair with coconut oil. You can rub it on your body. You can even use it when you're doing your natural hair like braid outs and things like that. That's okay. But if you put coconut oil on your scalp and you have protective styles in, that is what causes buildup. That's what causes stinky hair. Now, you ask me why, I can explain exactly why. Now, if you think about coconut oil, you know what? I got you. I'm going to get you some coconut oil. I'll be right back. The stuff we know and love. If you think about it in its natural state, it's hard. Like... It's, it's like, you know, it's rock solid. It's not in any liquid form. I have the right smell, but it's, it's, it's hard. So all that to say is when you put coconut oil in your hair, think about it. It's going to do the same thing in your head. It's going to get hard and it's going to turn into a solid state. And that's when you get those clumps of disgusting buildup in your hair. And then like basically you have these little balls and these little knots of things that you got to get out of your hair when you take out your braids. That's no fun y'all. It's not fun and it doesn't smell good. You want to use something better like a little bit more translucent. A little, a little bit more like your natural hair oil. That would be jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is actually just like your hair like it's the same consistency of your natural hair's oil so all that to say you guys when you are wearing protective styles use something like jojoba oil as your base oil and not coconut oil you can mix oils and use like jojoba with like a drop of tea tree or a, top, a drop of rosemary um, and those will definitely help break down like you know any bacteria and build up and it helps stimulate hair growth um definitely not from your local hair store you can get it from your local hair store but it's not going to be raw oil it's going to be a whole bunch of other things more than likely read the ingredients and you'll find out but all that to say is you need to use oils on your scalp that's essential now everyone's different for me it's two to three days 
So when you do oil your scalp, you do want to make sure that you are rubbing and massaging your hair. So don't just put it in and just let it drip all the way down your head. No. You do want to take it section by section. I'm sure a lot of black women know this. And just rub it. Like, massage it. Like, give it some love. And you know why you want to massage the oil in your hair? That is because... Um, it stimulates the hair follicles, it stimulates growth, and it also just gives your hair a wake-up call that you care, that you're there for it, and you support your hair. The last thing I want to go over with your protective styles is wrapping your hair. But a lot of people think that they have a protective style, they can just go to bed and not care. They can just go to bed like, so I'm done. No, you're not done. That's not okay. Your hair will be mad. You will lose your edges. It's just what it's gonna it's what it's gonna do. So all I have to say is you always wanna first off put whatever moisturizer, whatever oil you're using on your edges on your edges so you can keep edges. Um so definitely put that on every night before you go to bed. You can use one of these, one of those big ones you get from like the hair store. I've had this one forever. I don't know where I got it from, but it's awesome. Um or you can use like a long one, like these are like little decorative satin scarves. wrap your edges get your edges protected you know somehow some way um <laughs> if you do shampoo your hair which i'm not saying is a bad thing it's just that you want to make sure you can dry your hair because if your hair does not dry and you wash it and you got braids in your hair it's gonna start to mildew and it's gonna stink and you're gonna walk around smelling like mildewy Susie, and that's not cute it's not cute um, so you need to sit under the dryer. Like, everyone's crazy. Like, who doesn't sit under the dryer after they wash their hair? Like, not crazy, but you probably just didn't know any better. So I, I need to take that back. Y'all not crazy. Y'all just didn't know any better. If you wash your hair with any protective style. Whether it is a sewing, whether it is box braids, whether it is, um... Crochet braids, whether it's goddess locks, whether it's single leaf twists, whatever it is, you want to make sure that you are drying your scalp, girl, so your hair don't stink and smell like mildew, and you stink up the place when you're taking your braids out. We don't want that for you. So I need you to sit under a dryer when you're done taking out your braids. <laughs> so with that, I want you guys to definitely give me any feedback of anything y'all want to know as far as protective styles because I'm here for y'all. I want to make sure y'all get all the information you need, that you can get all the help you need. And you can also know how to deal with what you have because because you're not going to want to be miserable with the hairstyle you have because you don't know how to take care of it. And you don't want to be upset when you take your braids out and you ain't got no new growth because it all broke off. So <laughs> on that note, I'm here for y'all so feel free to leave a comment share this video and subscribe so we can definitely continue to help each other grow my name is Haley of Lovely's Hair I love you guys and I look forward to seeing you soon Bye.